real quick. If you are in Toronto and you want to come to one of my watch alongs, they are truly chaotic and so fun. This month, Breaking Dawn part one, we're making our way slowly through the entire Twilight franchise. And then we are also doing after in July. They're going to be so fun. They're basically like we watch along. You're allowed to talk and scream. I don't know. It's fun. My brain is mush, but it's a lot of fun and it's a good time and you should come out to one of those shows. But the date's up here on the screen so you can come. Um, and if not, that's fine. Enjoy the video. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carly. My eyebrows itchy. Just so you're all updated. Yeah. Clockwork orange. Oh my God. Okay, so I got contacts this week and I literally, the doctor like makes you put them in three times and take them out three times before you can leave. And I put two in one eye and I've never had a person look at me more like you're the stupidest fucking person on planet earth. It's a fun fact. Actually, no one's stupider than her. Uh. Oh, almost fell. Just a fun video. I hope you guys have been doing well and taking care of yourself. You fucking freaks. Fun fact about me is that I have deleted TikTok for about a year. It makes me want to end my life, quite frankly. But for career stuff, I'm a comedian. If you don't know, you gotta. You gotta. <laughs> you, you simply must. There's really no way around it. So I re-downloaded it this week. There's something in my eye. At what cost? I don't know. I uh, I thought I'd just invite you into my kitchen. Don't look at that mess. To talk about this video's sponsor, AG1. AG1 believes that giving your body the nutrition it needs should be simple. That's why they have pioneered the category of foundational nutrition. Products that address whole body wellness by delivering comprehensive daily nutrients and supporting long-term gut health. You don't have to hear it. In one simple scoop, AG1 replaces key health products. It replaces your multivitamins, your multiminerals, pre and probiotics, immunity support, and more. AG1 does more for your body and saves you time, money, and energy. And confusion when it comes to like taking multiple products, do they work together, you know. AG1 is basically daily nutrients and gut health support. It helps you get the nutrients your body needs every day and also helps support your gut being healthy and working for you. And what's great is that AG1 is an effortless and just like really nice daily habit. I've been drinking it every morning. Morning. I love the ritual of it. It's really easy. It tastes great. I feel like I'm on my green juice that girl moment. And it's also made with the best quality ingredients with the strictest manufacturing standards. What I've been really enjoying about having my AG1 every morning is that essential daily routines like that help keep you on a good path and help you reach your health goals. I have really bad stomach problems. Like my gut is just always a disaster. And I find that having nutrients, things like that help things keep moving smoothly. So I've been really enjoying having AG1 every morning. So if AG1 seems like something that you'd be into, go to athleticgreens.com slash uncarly. The link will be in the description below. That's athleticgreens.com slash uncarly. Thank you so much AG1 for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into it. But my For You page seems to think I am a 15 year old girl, a female incel, or like I am a woman pickup artist. Like I am a female pickup artist and I need tips, babe. Cause I have been fed on my For You page, just like videos of tips on how to get men obsessed with you. I'm in a long-term relationship. I'm not interested in it. And like, to be fair to the algorithm, I'm watching these bitches in full. It is so interesting to me. And you know what? Like this is a bit of like the pot calling the kettle black. I understand that, but like to make sweeping generalizations over what will make every man in the world obsessed with you, it's um incorrect, but also so deeply interesting to me. There's like a real market on TikTok that's like big sister advice. How to get a guy to notice you. Like it's just repurposing those horrifying articles that would be in like Teen Vogue and Tiger Beat 17 being like five cents to make your crush go crazy. If you wear this perfume, his eyes are gonna pop out of his head in little hearts like he's in a cartoon and his tongue is gonna go Blah, 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 blah. and steam's gonna come out of his ears if you are daisy by mark jacobs i'm obsessed with them so i've selected a couple of them and i'm quite simply going to show you that's all this is that's all we're doing today ladies here are some tips for making any guy absolutely obsessed with you Fair. boys feel free to correct me if i'm wrong and ladies take some notes when he's talking to you about something whatever it is like clearly he's interested in okay you're gonna just like look him in the eye and when he's done talking be like tell me more about that <laughs> 
<laughs> that's hot girl advice. Like I, <laughs> I have friends who are just like, they are hot. Like I know people are gonna be like, you look great, whatever. Like they are hot girls. They are actresses and models and they are beautiful. And whenever I would ask for advice, I'd be like, oh, I like this person. They'd be like, just go up and say like, you're an idiot. Just text him and say like, you're hot, wanna go out? And I'm like, the rules are not the same for us, girly. <laughs> The plane in which you inhabit is not the same as my reality. You know what I mean? They're like, go up, bite him, say, you're a big freaky monster. And then yeah, he'll fall in love with you. He always does. I do understand where she's going. Like, I feel like this is in a way, have a conversation, like just like be, have a conversation and ask him questions about the things he likes, which is correct. But also being like, tell me more about that. I'm like, that's just cause you have amazing eye makeup and beautiful hair. <laughs> Compliment him. like one compliment like make it a good compliment though like make it fun make it creative have fun with it but like uh guys are sluts for compliments because they never get them physical touch babe it's all in the physical touch okay like make your little leg touch his when you guys are sitting together that is true the physical touch my move for a long time because i have small hands brag is i would often be like oh my god your hands are so big you freak mine are small I mean, like a thimble. I'm a thimble and you're a beast. So there is like something to be said about physical touch. I do love that. The image of like kind of sicking an army of 12 year olds on their crushes, just trying to make physical contact is a lot, but fair enough. Grab his arm. When you go up to him, like grab his neck or whatever. His just neck. little things, have fun with it. But he'll get tingly. Cause you might get a little tingly. He's getting more tingly. Tell me more about that. Tell, Tell me more, more about that episode of House of the Dragon that you watched. Just choke him out. If you see your crush at school, go up and go, hey, you big fucking silly. And then put a Glock to his head. Boys love physical touch. Four psychological ways to make a guy obsessed with you. If you want someone to be like legit, obsessed with you there are obsessed a few things that science tells us that you can do right now love science i honestly i love women in stem can't get enough of the sauce i'm lost in the sauce of women in stem as a relationship expert i've spent my life studying the art of attraction and i've seen mm. a lot of examples of people trying these things out and they work first thing you're gonna do is just remember that rejection breeds obsession i love that she said toxic alert you can actually give any type of dangerous advice if you put a little toxic alert underneath. Be a bad friend. Become friends with somebody who is the heir to the Frito-Lay throne. Find an heiress out there and slowly work your way into her inner circle over years and years. One night while she's asleep, steal her credit card and figure out based on her phone passwords what her ATM pin is and steal everything from her. Suck her dry. Take her for everything she's worth. Hashtag toxic alert. If you want someone to have that like little obsession feeling start up within them, you need to find little ways to reject them. Like not responding to a text out of the blue. That's real. That's the only game I have is I'm the worst person at texting. A lot of people are like, are you mad at me? And I'm like, no, babe. I'm actually the world's worst texter. The fact that I am constantly accessible is the most stressful thing in the entire world to me. Next way to make someone obsessed is actually evil. It's by mixing pleasure with pain. Studies show that mixing when the pleasure with pain both pleasure and pain to us, it creates a psychological attachment to that person and creates that like obsessed feeling. So you want to make sure that you're alternating between giving them lots of positive attention and then just totally pulling that attention away. See, I told you guys this was really toxic, but it works. Give him a little chocolate covered strawberry. And then slit his throat. Let him bleed out on the concrete and then kiss him on the lips. Finally, guys, if you want someone to be obsessed with you, you need to be obsessed with yourself. This is a real through line in a lot of these female pickup artists, how to get guys obsessed with you videos is um have a life or have self-confidence. And I love the message of it. It's very funny to me because in these videos, they're all about appealing to the male gaze. They're all about how generally speaking, validation from men is what you're looking for. So to be like, learn to love yourself so men can love you. The only reason you should love yourself, girl boss, is so that men see you as a worthy partner. Get a life, get hobbies and friends and a job you like so that when he sees how good your life is, he wants to date you and make you his wife. But I understand also, it's like, I'm sure the audience for these videos is so young. You know what I mean? Like you gotta say like, have confidence and, and, and enjoy yourself or otherwise you're just like telling 12 year olds to just care about nothing else. Okay, this is warning toxic. If you wanna make somebody obsessed with you, then this video is for you. I love that this room is like the 2020 
TikTok room with like the vines and the like fluorescent lights. Tip number one, never be too available. Never be too available, got it. That is a thing, they're like, be busy. Be busy, again, build your life kind of around attracting attention. So like if you're never available, right, then you can finally be available to him. The one number one thing that actually gives you value in, in this world. Tip number two, and this is probably the most important one, be inconsistent. Inconsistency inconsistent. will have somebody literally losing their mind over you. Yeah. One day act completely interested. And then the next day, just like that, don't talk to them and act like you don't care. I love this. One time I remember my dad gave me advice in middle school. Apropos of nothing, like I did not ask him. He was like, if you ever want to drive a, cr- a guy crazy, walk up to his desk, right? And go, I have a secret and I'm not telling you. And walk away. And I was like, that's the worst advice I've ever heard. It's a way to get him interested if he's a detective. If he's Sherlock Holmes, maybe he'd be interested, but otherwise I feel like he'd just be like, okay. So this is saying being consistent. One day walk in with a long cape and act mysterious and say your name is Diane, even though he knows your name is Catherine. Then the next day come in and act normal. He'll at least be interested. He'll at least, he'll be interested. Okay, this is another kind of genre where it's just text on screen. First way to get him obsessed with you. Disappear, stop talking to him for a few days. Post on socials like normal. Gone girl yourself. Fake your own death. Blame it on him. He will be interested at least in the motives at that point. Space creates attraction in the male psyche. Guys fall in love during space through their imagination. It's not a sentence, babe. (laughs) So they imagine things in the space that you've created. It's a nightmare sentence. I like, I'm not, not to be the person that's like, a comma, a comma changes the meaning of the whole sentence, but like, this is a horrible sentence. Thinking about w- you when you are not there. If you're not following me, we will never see again. So I wish you the best. Okay, maybe English is in their first language and I shouldn't have joked about that. <laughs> you know, sometimes, sometimes you, I, I make, I'm, I'm enough to make a mistake. I made a mistake there. This is how to make him obsessed with you. Number one. Now, trust me on this one. Just wear the color red. Whether it's wear your underwear, red. or your nails, or your lips. For some reason, there is just something That's not so a red lipstick. sultry about wearing That's not a red, red lipstick. Apparently, it's because guys grew up oh, seeing it's... female figures wearing okay. red. Okay. Yeah, and this is saying, like, wear red because, like, Lola Bunny or that headless woman in the Tom and Jerry comics is, like, wearing red. I look like shit in red. If I put on red lipstick, like, I look like a clown. I look like a child in their middle school musical putting on stage makeup for the first time. Like, unless it's very, very, like, faint, I look like a corpse nothing has ever made me more pale in my human life so that's not gonna work i also love the idea that wearing red lingerie under your clothes he can sense it kind of like manifesting you know i do think there is a thing like there is something to this at least psychologically of like there's just something about like a red nail or a red lip that like truly like a tom and jerry cartoon cemented in their minds that it's something so I'm just saying, this Valentine's Day, you know what you need to be doing. Number look bad two, in red. You've got to show him that you're comfortable enough to just be able to walk away. Guys will go crazy over a woman that wants him walk but away. doesn't need him. I'm gonna. Here's you want to you want a tip? Walk up to a guy, say, "Look, babe, I want you, but I don't need you." Then push him down. He falls down a well. He meets a baby down there. Her name is Baby Jessica. They write a play together. 50 years later, they get out of the well. The play goes to Broadway. They win a Tony. The day that he finally wins a Tony, he's walking up on stage with Baby Jessica who fell down the well to accept the Tony Award for the play that they wrote in the well about being in the well. Meanwhile, you've created a life. You've become busy. You're an award-winning Broadway producer. You present him with the award and he has to thank you. Think about that. Because guys will always want what they can't have. And number three, her makeup looks so good. Like, (laughs) whenever I see a woman on TikTok, I get so mad. I'm like, it sounds dumb, but in order for a guy to be obsessed with you, you've got to be obsessed with yourself. Get obsessed with yourself, babe. Create confidence to be desirable. No other reason. Okay, another text on screen. These are texts to send to him to make him obsessed. Compliment him. Okay, we that first woman also said to compliment him. Um, I am traumatized. When people compliment me, my brain goes, they're lying and I tricked them. So I don't compliment other people because I assume that they don't want compliments either. So I'm a nightmare at this. Trust me, he won't stop thinking about you after this. So if anybody has any idea of any compliments to say, I've been thinking about you all day, in parentheses, please say this. <laughs> Please say this. Please clap. Jeb Bush, pickup artist. Please say this. I've been thinking about you all day. Again, I'm just traumatized. Like I could never show anyone that I'm even interested or like them in any way. The thought of 
sending the message i've been thinking about you all day i would literally rather be beheaded in the streets okay this is behind the watermark but you look different today and i liked it if he shows up in a similar outfit scent hairstyle the next day you got him that might be true i feel like if you're like i like this shirt and then he wears it again he's at least listening i don't know you wouldn't last five minutes in a room with me because i can unhinge my jaw like an anaconda and swallow you whole you're gonna be like a mouse in my anaconda body you wouldn't last five minutes in a room with me because i would unhinge my jaw and suck you down my gullet omg you're so adorbs xd xd okay don't say this but then why put it on there and then finally this is manifestations to make him obsessed with you only use these affirmations if you really her want makeup to looks obsessed. good too Using your own discretion don't come crawling to me I'm so when he's crawling to you <laughs> what am i doing wrong like here's the thing if you have no older sister in your life you are hung out to dry i am fucking struggling her makeup looks fucking great he is literally addicted to me everything reminds he is him literally of me. addicted to me everything reminds him of me this is just an affirmation to get a ted bundy-esque night stalker-esque serial killer to skin you and wear your skin as a suit i am his best and only option i don't <laughs> chase after what's already mine okay i actually kind of love that i am his best and only option there is like a level of delusion that my brain goes to sometimes where i'm like i'm the best woman i'm the best i'm the best one and i'm the only option i'm the best and the only i don't am I the best but i'm the only i don't chase after what's already mine. i don't chase after the what's more already I mine desire myself, and i own him the more he wants me guys my clients who are doing the workshop oh she's running a workshop my page start using affirmations like this tell me it's a game changer and have okay. results like this so if you, any of you witches start doing that let me know if it works <laughs> Let me know if that works. I don't know why I'm, these are being fed to me. I mean, I do because I watch them in full and I save them and I read all the comments and I engage, but this is not who I want to be. I do love watching videos of women with the most gorgeous eye makeup in the world, basically being female pickup artists. I love it dearly. I love it so much. It's iconic. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make, subscribe. Subscribe to me. I mean, I'm not going to force you to. You can do whatever you want. It's a free country. It's free life. I'm not going to I don't even really care. I actually, I don't even need you. I actually feel like I can, I can walk away because I love myself. I don't need this. I don't need this. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.